peace, infinite waters diving deep once again with the breeze blowing back and forth. How to decalcify your pineal gland? Why would I want to do that? <laughs> what is the pineal gland? It is a gland located inside of your brain. There are seven glands of the body. The reproductive glands, the adrenal glands, the pancreas glands, the thymus, the thyroid, the pituitary gland, and the pineal gland. The ancients refer to the pineal gland as being the seat of the soul, the seat of intuition. And it has been associated with seers and clairvoyants, people that can see things before they happen. It wasn't a long time ago when scientists thought the pineal gland didn't serve much of a purpose. Now we are seeing how much it is doing for the body. It resembles a pine cone. However, once you actually cut it open, you see that the interior resembles rods and cones similar to the retina of our eyes. That is why in ancient cultures they refer to the pineal gland as being the inner eye or the third eye. So we have to see how powerful the pineal gland is. I found five ways on my journey to decalcify the pineal gland to help activate it so we can once again tap into our infinite power because being free is our birthright. Number one, switch to a raw food diet. It's hard to do. Let go of eating meat because what I found is that the more you can eat natural foods, it activates the pineal gland. Becoming lighter is the only way to fly. Eating superfoods such as spirulina, corella, all of these foods have the enzymes which we need to decalcify the pineal gland. Herbs such as parsley also help in decalcifying the pineal gland because it has always been seen as the mysterious gland. Your glands are your chakras. Many of the foods we eat, the dairy, the cheese, the meats, they are mucus forming. In essence, they are acidic in property. To decalcify the pineal gland, we have to eat a more alkaline based diet. I had to do it on my journey. I had to let go of meat, it was hard because I used to love me some KFC double Whopper burger. Once I changed my diet, I saw my vibration increase immediately. Number two, many of us fail to see that the water that is coming into our homes, the tap water is full of fluoride. This actually calcifies the pineal gland. There are two types of fluoride. There is the fluoride which comes into our homes, which is actually sodium fluoride. This is so poisonous for the body and calcifies the pineal gland because it is full of metals such as arsenic, lead, aluminium. The other kind of fluoride is the calcium fluoride and this is a natural mineral found in soil, also found in natural spring water. So to activate the pineal gland we all have to be drinking alkaline water. Drinking through a water purification system. 
what I do is I always put lemon to my water because lemon although it appears citrus it actually creates an alkaline state within the body fluoride is also found in toothpaste gosh it's all over the place <laughs> changing to a fluoride free toothpaste does wonders and that is a great way we can begin to activate our pineal gland we can begin to see that the pineal gland is the inner portal which gives us access into other dimensions fluoride hardens the interior walls of the pineal gland say no to fluoride <laughs> otherwise you have a calcified pineal gland now you don't want that do you <laughs> number three embrace the darkness the main function of the pineal gland is to produce melatonin and this governs the sleep and wake cycles of the body darkness is wonderful our whole universe is filled with dark matter the darkness is the mystery and once we can begin to embrace it just as we embrace the light we become unified in essence we become whole so once you are in a dark place in essence you are producing more melatonin in essence we are activating the pineal gland there was a great book and it talked about how with the onset of modern electricity many people sank into a lower vibration all the light bulbs around us I've seen it even within my own journey because we are designed to follow our natural biorhythm we should go to sleep when the Sun goes down it's hard to do because many of us we're living in a society of instant gratification a 24-hour society where there is no rest for the wicked so even though we may have to use fluorescent light bulbs I found on my journey using candles sometimes helps to decalcify the pineal gland number four sun gazing staring into the Sun many of us we wear sunglasses I used to wear sunglasses all the time and then I found that sunlight actually stimulates the pineal gland there has been so many studies on this the benefits of sun gazing yes sometimes the Sun may be too intense so the best time to sun gaze is when the Sun is not too hot first thing in the morning 6 a.m. just as the Sun is rising so you can get that vitamin D so it can fill your body and you can feel magnificent lastly a great way to decalcify the pineal gland is to take iodine supplements and iodine is found in seaweed and it does wonders for decalcifying the pineal gland because it is a natural mineral we have to see that there are so many ways we can raise our frequency we can raise our vibration I always say the simple way is the truth having fun is the fastest way to raise our vibration having fun is the fastest way to decalcify the pineal gland many of us we have been disconnected from ourselves we have been disconnected from the world around us 